So, <clears throat> this is just a bit of a close-up of the Gory propeller puller that I've had made. Um, it it's, needs to be machined pretty accurately um, so that everything fits together, but it basically takes advantage of using the pivot pins for the blades as the lock point to hold the propeller puller in place. There's the nut that's normally down in there. Uh, it's always best if you're popping a propeller off to leave the nut loose uh, but in place and that'll prevent the propeller when it pops from ending up on the ground and getting damaged. But the width of the puller is exactly the same width as the gap for where the propeller blades go in the in the hub. And with a, just, a, it's a, just a snug fit, you line up the holes. Now don't forget on these gory propellers, the pins and the holes are all labeled and numbered. Uh, at this point it's not critical, but um, if you fit them in, you're guaranteed a, a better fit if you use the right ones. A little bit of a wiggle and it pops in. Now just to prevent the puller or the pins from falling on the ground, I just snugged in, in the uh, Allen lock screws just a little bit. Um, here's the other one, that's number one. And the pin is on the other side, so I'll do that. And a little bit of a wiggle is all you need. Slides into place. Tighten up the Allen key. Doesn't have to be tight, just keep it from sliding out. And there you go. Now if you look in here, I'm not sure how well you can see it, um, you can see as you tighten down the bolt, it'll push against the shaft, the tip of the shaft, which would be right about there. The handle here gives you leverage against your socket wrench or some other wrench, and you just crank that until it pops, and then you're set. So that's basically how it works. It's also designed to allow you to use the same puller. Let's take it apart here for tightening up your propeller nut. So I'll slide the two pins out. One, two. Now, when you're going to reassemble, you'll have this slid on, you have your uh, key in place, and you've done your fitting to make sure it's seated properly. The nut goes in on your shaft and gets tightened down. Then the puller, you remove the bolt, yeah, lots of fine threads here, now the hole you should be able to fit through a uh, 3 8 inch socket extender with the right size socket to fit on your propeller nut. And then you can have your ratchet on the opposite side. You can slide that just partly into, doesn't matter which direction, there we go, slightly into here so that your socket will be here, your ratchet can be up here and you can apply the appropriate amount of torque uh, so that you're not struggling with keeping your shaft uh, or propeller hub from spinning. You don't have to put the force against the transmission locked in gear. And then as you tighten, once you're at the appropriate torque, you just lift the whole combination of socket and the puller slash tightener out. And then you would continue to use a uh, uh, Loctite on the Allen keys and snug that in place against uh, Part of the nut. You can see the marks there from before when it's been tightened. And then reassemble the propeller blades, pivot pins, and tighten down and use Loctite on these lock screws as well. Anyway, extremely effective, very simple, uh, extremely strong. It will uh, it'll pop off a propeller no matter how tight it is. Anyway, 